Should we pour a glass? Yes. Up uh, two vapes. She's scrapped Is that up. Is one for each nostril? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gotta be prepared. What if one dies? Exactly. What are you gonna do? Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> we have a special guest today. We've got Bella. We flew her in all the way from yes, LA. Yes, just she landed today. Landed this morning. We picked her up. Yeah. Yes. First time here. A bit more of that in there. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, sir. Uh, <laughs> please, <laughs> indulge me. We have a drinking buddy Thanks, now. Queen. No worries. No worries. <laughs> we have, yeah, Bella's down for about two weeks. I'm yeah. going to do some awesome shoots with yeah. her. Exploring, yes. shooting. We, we met Bella in LA last year. Last year, yeah. and she looked at some of my messed up work and goes, I want to do uh, some of that. We're doing that. <laughs> when and where? <laughs> so we put her in a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Had to. Which oh. is looking like we'll be doing that because we're running out of models in Melbourne. Well, it seems yes. like you guys are having um, more girls come in today, yeah? This week, we've flo everyone's seeming to fly Fine in this, this week. week. Okay, but they're all from Australia, right? Other parts of Australia? No, we've got Hannah's coming in from, oh, she's coming from Germany. Yep. Oh, wow, okay. Um, Shay just is a Shay no fixed have, address. So <laughs> Shay just travels I think around. she's coming from Mexico or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Anne's coming from Canberra. Can no, she's coming from Perth. Her but flight, she lives in Canberra. Yeah, but she, her flight's from Perth. Oh, right. So yeah, everyone's flying in from all over oh, the place. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's how it should be. The one week though, and it's like now we're like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? How are we going to fit everyone <laughs> right, in? Right, right. Yeah, awesome. everybody wants it this one week. Yeah. Well, it's nice weather though. It's not True. as. Yeah, but it's Melbourne. Who knows what weather it's going <laughs> to be? You can't, you can't go. It's bipolar. <laughs> True. That's very true. But yeah, so busy week, which is good. Lots going on. So we can start off with straight away. So. What have you done in the last week? In the last week? Oof. Well, preparing for this, really. Um, just working, though, on my business and modeling. Um, yeah, I'm preparing for this. I've been packing for like two weeks, slowly. <laughs> I know, I felt the weight of your bag. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> was, I went to the, um, the airport and I was like, I know it's going to be overweight. And he was like, if you know it's going to be overweight, why don't you just pack two bags? And it was 75 pounds. So I was like, oopsie. One but, year, that's like in kilos. Sorry, it's I like... Don't know. I don't know what the conversion is. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't, because everyone I can't listening do what I would or... normally do because I got told off for doing that. What did you do? Why? Oh, can I, am I allowed to do it? I don't know. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Write it down. Are you just going to convert it? Oh. Hey Suri, how <laughs> many <laughs> kilograms is in 75 pounds? God. 75 pounds is 34.02 kilograms. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. There you go. Sorry to everyone whose phones just turned off you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet if she'd flown Qantas, she would have been knocked back. Really? Yeah, maximum 32. Oh, wow. Because really? Because it's a HR, a HR thing. The huh. staff aren't allowed to lift anything heavier than 32 oh, kilos. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't know that. Yo, as we're getting, old, as we're getting uh, human races getting thing, we're getting stronger and weaker at the same time. <laughs> Well, yeah, we world records of lifting and world records of yeah. speed and all of yeah. that, but we're now making people, oh, you can only lift a kilo, anything more like than why? two people what, have to like, lift it. That's crazy. 30, uh, that's just like nothing now. It's usually 50 pounds, but it, they don't care though at any other airline. Oh, they do in America. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of fun coming back from America. Oh, God, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I'm that sure. was... We, we paid for an upgrade and then they, oh, changed, they changed the flight. And now, didn't upgrade tell us. didn't go with us. What? And then they're trying to Did charge us more than the upgrade for our extra baggage. That's why we got the up upgrade to cut oh, make up for our... Yeah. That's so annoying. Yeah, they actually did refund us after okay, 22 emails and <laughs> it was know, so a month hard. or yeah. so. That's what it takes. That was irritating. They just didn't even notify us they changed the flight or anything. So I was very cross. I was, I was really looking forward to that upgrade as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I was like, Fuck. yes, business. And then it didn't happen. But that's okay. But the weird Next thing time. is that we booked yeah. it through... Qantas, which is one world, uh -huh. and our return flight came to a non-one world carrier. Mm -hmm. So none of the Qantas, not, not, nothing of you, you know, your status and yeah. everything didn't even count, huh. which was weird. I never worked out how that happened. But it's so pointless. Oh, no. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. So how was your week? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My weekend could have been a lot better. I went away to a small little festival and it was um, not 
organised very well. <laughs> there was one toilet for about 150 people. You've got to start um, off at the start, though. No, the start. So the start, we they Where wanted, you turned up. The site they told us they were going to have it on is just a national park, like public okay. property. And we got there and they'd already started setting up. But even a friend of ours, um, we were speaking to and we said where it was going to be. And they even said, that's going to get shut down within 24 hours. Like the rangers around that part are fed up with people throwing parties there. It's going to get shut down. And yeah, we got there and as me and Jared were driving in, there was an unmarked cop car driving down and said, party's over, turn uh -uh. around, <laughs> go on, turn around. Oh, so we had to go to another site. And but then we were on private property, so that was okay. Um, Got there at night time, so I had to set up my tent in the dark, uh -uh. which was all kinds of fun. So how long were you there for, just for the weekend? Yeah, I got there on Thursday night and I came home yesterday morning. Okay. Uh, but they had one toilet for 150 people. They had one generator to power all the lights and the sound and the projectors and everything. So of course the generator clapped out. Oh, of course, immediately. Um, and then they tried to start it up again and our friend was DJing at the time. And when we saw him after, we were, he was like, well, I played for 40 minutes and I played for five minutes and I played for 20 minutes. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long. I don't know, like, but that's, yeah, it just kept cutting oh, out. Um, it's so shit. Yeah, and then um, I wasn't really digging the music. Uh, there was giant spiders everywhere. <laughs> and I just, yeah. Typical. It was, it was a weekend, but it's okay, I'm home now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, they snuck out early with some lying. I don't know. Light. Jared had a work emergency. I was I was always leaving on Sunday anyways because oh. I did have work today. But then Jared had a work emergency, so we had to leave early. And we're home now. And there slept, you go. Slept a lot. So yeah, that was my fun weekend. Um, and yeah. There you go. Hmm. How about how was your week? Well, the first day I was going down studio to record something and I broke the lady's toilet <laughs> so I spent the rest of the day How'd you rebuilding the toilet? the toilet. I was just trying to put one of those toilet lollies in the top of the system to change the water from yeah. clear to blue. Okay. And when I lift the lid off, all of a sudden water starts spraying out everywhere <laughs> else. And it's, the, oh the plastic God. had all deteriorated and the more <gasps> I did, the more plastic deteriorated. <laughs> what were you doing? Like, were you, like what'd you tell her? <laughs> tell her the toilet. <laughs> no, the, the ladies' toilet you broke. Oh, so, no, no, the no, ladies so, at the studio. studio. Oh. No, no, I didn't. Yeah, I wouldn't try. I wouldn't be in the ladies' <laughs> in any way. That's what I was wondering. I was like, what? <laughs> no, is it the Ignore studio? Me. Well, there wasn't okay. a them door, so I went through the ladies. Okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I see. You had to fix the toilet. Is so, it fixed? Yeah, it's fixed now. Yeah, it's fully fixed. Your toilet water is now blue. Cool. Nice. Nice. Oh, we love that. So every time you see the blue, you can thank me for having my arms deep. Ew, <laughs> gross. Oh, don't gross. Doing the Lord's work. So she, they broke their home toilet, and guess who had to come and fix their <laughs> toilet? I didn't break it. It just started leaking. Yeah, but leaking out of the wrong part. Uh, uh, uh. Not the inward, the outward oh, part. God. Oh, so I, I was playing with Jared and Beck Poo. Nice. <laughs> nice, yes. Well, you are a G for that. <laughs> yeah. A real one. He's Peter's like my personal handyman. Yeah. Yeah. My so convenient. My door handle broke. I was like, Peter, can you come fix my door? <laughs> 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 Needed some paving done out the back. I was like, can you come do my paving, please? <laughs> my tap breaks. Can you fix my tap? What is Jared things? doing during this? Um, um, playing games. <laughs> no, he tries, he's trying to learn. He likes okay, watching good, Peter. Good, and he's good, like, good. can you teach me? He's and, slowly learning. Yeah. Good. Yeah. He can fix computers. Peter, you should start a YouTube channel of like how to fix things. <laughs> Peter's <laughs> channel. <laughs> That'd be so cute. Oh my Bob God. The builder. Oh my Bob gosh. The builder. Bob the Builder. Yes. You can do everything. Very but yeah, something that happened last week and it sort of punched how some people go under the name of being artists and it's all about their money. Mm. They're not artists, it's all about money. Yeah, of course. And then I had some emails and some other things happen and I was in the studio knee deep in toilet water <laughs> and it just came to me, I really need to, because all photographers seem to care about is how do they make money. Yeah. Yeah. So I did a rant. I did four rants. <laughs> did you? Oh, well, f the guy next door, every time I got into it, saying, yeah, up comes the saw. Oh. And then this Harley Davidson sat up, whop, whop, out the front. <laughs> and then the wind changed. You know how we had the change come through on Friday? Yeah. From the stinking hot to the cold? Oh, yeah, it was really cold Friday night. I was yeah. sitting in the bush well, sweating. Well, came through and the roller door started slamming. Mm. But I ended up getting it done. It was a whole day wasted just... 
fishing, fixing a toilet and doing like oh a 20 God. minute rant. Um, Which everyone loves that rant. I was going to say, how did the rant go? <laughs> Good. I listened to it before. That's what matters. Well, yeah, it was, it was actually really enjoyable actually putting the photos. It took me forever to put the photos in. It would. Because number one, it had to be G-rated for Google, uh, uh -huh. as in YouTube, yep. um, which means they, you know, they don't respect art as art. And, yeah. But I, I understand robots can't distinguish the intent of the photo. Right, right, so right. So if you've got a Helmut Newton photo and maybe, well, Helmut Newton, you know, one of his fo fo um, shoots, I think, was in Vogue and Playboy at the same time. Okay. So high in fashion and high in memory. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just because it could be appreciated for yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I understand that, but sometimes I just feel that um, it's, although it's not, not easy, I'd hate to be a moderator because even, Beck knows, even moderating our own Facebook page to what we are, what photos we allow to come yeah. on to our group yeah. and what we don't, it's so hard because we do have a set rules, but some things sit right on that edge and yeah. we, where they're going, oh, do we, don't we, for safety, we've right. got to say don't. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. was one. Oh, that's so unfortunate, though. One that someone put up the other day, and it was um, a girl, and she was wearing a white singlet, but it was, the white singlet was wet, and it was like pretty through? much completely see yeah. through. But I was like, she's technically wearing a top, but it, yeah. it was just yeah. too see through. Yeah. I was like, I can see a full nipple. I can't right, allow right, that because right, right, Facebook. Right. It's too strict. Yeah, and then Not Facebook. Surprised, surprise, Facebook hadn't. Quite often they've. Killed the picture and given us a warning. It hasn't even been oh. posted yet. Someone yeah, has put it into the group, it, yeah. but we haven't allowed it to be posted oh, wow. yet. Oh wow! And they say, and they've already put they already us a warning. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah. well, anything with Facebook and Instagram is so strict. Oh, Twitter so though, Twitter you can post whatever you want. Yes. No, to a point because no, you can post anything on Twitter. No, we got some, we know someone who got cancelled. Really? Yes. For what? He's a male porn star. Okay, uh, but there's porn on Twitter. Yeah, which is why I don't understand why he like, got deleted because there is a lot of porn on Twitter. A lot. Like that's, a, that's where people uh, go to watch porn now on Twitter. Some porn's a little bit violent. Okay. <laughs> okay, violence, different story. No, boy on boy and like... Okay. Very... Yeah. Uh, violent. Yeah, I'm not going into it. It's one of those things that he's a, a, a model that I photographed many years ago for a... Um, they were a gay clothing company. Okay. So they predominantly made leather stuff and yeah, rubber yeah, yeah. and things okay. like that. Really cool company. I still exist today. They're, they not. They now. They used to be male only. Now they're, they're branched out. Branched out. Yeah. They allow anybody. Cool. In the early days, if a female walked in the store, then no. they wouldn't get served. Wow. Yeah, it was That's so. Crazy. Huh. I don't know if it was just some of the staff were like that, or if mm. it was a thing. But now it's right through. But I, I met this guy on a shoot, and he's such a funny guy. Oh. He's absolute scream, but he's. <laughs> Built like one of those big bikies, not, not fat, just he was solid Buff. muscle, but yeah. hairy as well. Uh -huh. And big dude, he could do all the different impressions of you know he'll be the village people one minute, then he'll be the cute little boy. Oh, it's so cute! He was cute. so good at just oh, I love that. going bang, bang, yeah. bang. Yeah, but yeah, it's um, <laughs> right. He's so I, I followed him because I really liked him, but you never knew what was going to pop up in your feed. Yeah, yeah. I like that, and, though. <laughs> yeah, not sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you're just there first thing in the morning, you take a sip of coffee, and all of a sudden there's a butthole in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Who that? Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, and there's uh, another friend of mine who is fairly <laughs> opens the wrong word. <laughs> on Twitter <laughs> and the big scene that we uh, turn it on and you just don't know what's going to be right no. in front of your face. Yeah, I'll like go to check Peter's Twitter and I'm like, oh, okay, that's... Oh, hello. But I'm doing <laughs> the same. Yeah. And there was a, someone I followed on Tumblr before, Tumblr became woke, and she found some of the best fashion photography. Like I followed her blog because she'd always find these amazing photos I'd never mm -hmm. seen the shoots. But she also had an obsession about penises. So huh. normally once a week, okay. you, you flick, scroll down, all of a sudden there's a donger follow you sitting God, in your face. I love face. that though so much. <laughs> no, it's always funny. It always no, yeah, gets a, yeah. That, I get it. Donger. Donger. Donger, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's epic. I was oh. glad Tumblr's not woke anymore. They've come back, haven't they? No, it's still woke. Oh, really? I haven't been on well, Tumblr they're, they're, in so long. Yeah, I never really was on Tumblr, though. They're, I was for they're a while. Put adult-only things on things of fully clothed people. 
and I've put a request in and they say under review and it's under review forever. They never get, mm. never open it back up. That's annoying. They now choke it. If it, you mark it as adult content, you just, it won't go anywhere. Yeah. Oh. So even though you can put it up there, you have to mark it. But I even marked a picture the other day, which was I marked it as adult content because you could just see a bit of a boob. And then they came back and said, we flagged this as adult content. Well, I marked it adult yeah. and all of a sudden it, got, it just got shadow banned type what? of. So I'm, the point. I'm only, I'm mm -hmm. going to stop posting on there now. I was all for it, but there's still some stuff I'm seeing, which I'm enjoying because the people on there are putting up, again, images I don't see anywhere else. And it just, mm. I like seeing stuff left and right of centre. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of cookie cutter crap. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's so, something inspiring and creative. 100%. Yeah. Well, it is. It's, it's hard for you to, like, I'm not looking at the stuff to copy it. It's just that you see something cool and you, just, you go, oh, I need to create something yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets you in a mindset to of step course. out of that boring, yeah. Yeah. same old, same old. Right, right. Nice. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Would you buy it? No. no. But it's nice. <laughs> Would you look at it a second time? No. <laughs> but it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. Yeah. But I don't but you know don't, to ever see it again. You want Feel more that. than nice. Respect. Yeah. You need to be outstanding. Well, it's no different to the rant I'd, I'd put up. It's. It's the something. It has to be something special for you, even if the whole world hates that picture, but you love it, and yeah. you didn't take it. Somebody else took it. There's yeah. something in that picture that really talks to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, to you, it, and that's it. It's each individual. I don't get the whole world now in the way of if I don't like it, I need to scream and yeah, say how yeah. much I hate what you've done. I yes. Well, I didn't do it. Though they didn't do it for you. If they did it for you, they wouldn't have done it because they would have known that's who you were. Yeah. Yeah. But people, there's so many people on the internet and things that your job is to please me. Yeah. I'm not going to pay for it either. Right, right. You're not getting a cent, that, the but please thing, please me. What you said a minute ago reminded me, I was reading this, have you guys heard of the Daily Stoic, the book? It's no. like every day, it's um, the day, every day of the year. And so you read the daily page, but the title of one of the pages recently was like, you don't always need to have an opinion. Yeah. And that's so true lately, especially. I'm just like, everyone always needs an opinion. I'm like, you don't always have to express what you're feeling. It's fine. Totally. Like, just do what you like and just do that. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I think th there's a show, Gogglebox, which... Um, Gogglebox? Yeah. I love that What's show. That? It's a just complete nobody sitting in their lounge room com commenting about the TV show they're watching. What? It's really yeah. funny. That sounds awesome. It it's is. Really it's funny. pretty funny. Yeah, I'd love to watch that. They're all different demographics of people. Yeah. So, and they'll all be watching the same show and someone will just go, you've got to be effing joking. Why are <laughs> so it's just them commenting yeah, on the yeah. show they're watching. Yeah, I, yeah. Like that I love that. I love that. Which I've never really... I've seen the ads and that for it, but Sounds funny. it just seems like a really cool old thing. Yeah. But there's people out there that want to live in the world like that and yeah. comment out loud of what they think about yeah. every single thing they say. Right, right, right. Well, it's like my favourite analogy that you give with that is if like a band brings out an album, you don't contact and you don't like one song on the album, yeah. you don't contact the band and be like, hey, I don't, I don't like, like that song. song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> please, exactly. please take it off. <laughs> right, right. Great album, but I don't like this one song. Like, thank you for that. It was like, okay. so unnecessary. You don't need, you don't, right. well, no one has that. It's really funny when um, Night of the Opera came out, because I'm old enough to remember when that came out, <laughs> one, one friend of mine felt it necessary to get into a, like a three hour conversation how much he hated one of the songs on there. And it's a song I'm in love with my car. I think uh -huh. it was written by the drummer. Um, and it was amazing. I saw some interview and the drummer goes, it's my favourite song. Oh. And it's sort of like, yeah, of course, everybody yeah. has their own taste. Yeah, absolutely. That's just a, just a waste so of energy to talk if about we that. Didn't. Yeah. Yeah, right. Exactly. Then yeah. we'd just we go. Stay. To... Then we're all the fucking same. Yeah. It's just. <laughs> the, yeah, no. So vanilla. <laughs> we don't want vanilla. <laughs> no, we don't like no. vanilla. No. <laughs> we want Boring. like. What's the craziest ice cream that we could be like? Chunky Monkey. Chunky, chunky, mon mon chunky, chunky Monkey's What's good. Chunky you know, monkey? It's just like ben chocolate with like peanut butter and marshmallow Wait, and just like whatever. Does it have banana in it? No. Well, maybe 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 it does. Maybe it has something else. Peanut butter? Maybe it has banana. I've never had an ice cream with banana in it though. Yeah, I thought Chunky hey, Monkey. Maybe we have banana. Maybe I'm thinking of a different flavor. But I, something like that. It's a Ben and Jerry's flavor, yeah. Probably. I love Ben and Jerry's, so probably. Yeah, I think I think it's got like banana in it. I don't know. I thought it had banana in Walmart's. I could be Okay, maybe. 
Just you might be right. <laughs> just I went through. A, oh, it's yummy. I went through a Ben and Jerry's phase. <laughs> I was eating like just tub after tub well, after tub. Was that horrible stuff I tried and said yeah. this is horrible? <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was like ice. It was like you know ice cream that's melted and you froze again and melt it and, fro and it gets uh -huh. this sort of crystal. Yes, in it. Oh, so cool. that's yeah. what Ben and Jerry's is like. No, it's no. not always like that. You probably just got a dud tub. Yeah, a dud tub. Honestly, well, money back. <laughs> I think so, I, to, you, I think I ended up taking that tub and it was fine. Oh, I love Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, also, have you seen Ben and Jerry, like the actual guys? Mm -hmm. It's two old guys and they're the cutest people ever. Mm -hmm. They like open their first shop and then they end up doing Ben and Jerry's. Mm -hmm. So cute. Bless them. Yeah, they're sweeties. I love that. Yeah. Yum. Ben and Jerry's. It's so tasty. <laughs> Not in my mind. Not in my mind. <laughs> no, there's, mm -hmm. I think Sheree's homemade ice cream. Oh, that's really that. good. Yeah, I like Trees. it. That's my no, wife. That's his wife. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, no, You'll she, meet her in the next hour, so. She's really nice. She makes really good food. She makes ice cream, and it's really tasty. I need to try all her food this mm. week and next week. Well, she's good cook. Whenever she cooks, I'll be there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait for a lasagna next week. Lasagna? Oh, that's right, we're doing oh. lasagna for the workshops. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, oh. no, she does make a good lasagna. And she does. I love lasagna. Except for that one that she made that was really watery for some reason. What? I should think she did what your mum does. <laughs> she changed one thing. I'm going to change a recipe just for the <laughs> sake of it. <laughs> Oops, that didn't work. Oh, they'll eat it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why my mum does that. She's experimenting. She doesn't need to though. <laughs> Bless her heart. <laughs> it's fine. I always had it like when oh, I Oh, it's so cute though. I know. <laughs> she did it one night with something and she like put, I don't know, I think she put like capsicum and asparagus in something and I was like, why? She's like, well, you know, just, just why not? <laughs> because it doesn't need it. It was fine oh. and you didn't need to change it and now it's ruined. Oh. But I vaguely remember you changing something one day and you said, oh, that was a mistake. You put extra of something in or you decided to put a different flavour in something. It just didn't work. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Do you cook a lot back? I do. Oh, good. I do. Everyone cooks so much here. I you she didn't me. used to when she first started, when you first moved in uh -huh. to your mm -hmm. new place. No, it was like, no, um, no you got, got all that buying pre-made ready. You just had to take it out of its packages, cut it a bit and put it in the oven. No, I didn't. HelloFresh is not like that. Oh, I love HelloFresh. HelloFresh yeah, is really, yeah, really amazing. That's... It's not pre-made stuff. No, but it gives you all, all the ingredients and all you do is cut, cut it up and put it in the oven. Well, I feel like that's convenient though for, for people like, it's, I don't know. It is until you, it gives you every all... time. It but you still cook it. Yeah, you still have to cook, you still have to cut it up and cook yeah, it No, but what happened to you, you'd go you get the onion, it's all mushy. Now I'm going to have to go to the supermarket to buy yeah. one onion <laughs> to Because I don't have onions the in the purpose. house. Okay. Yeah, I know. I guess the purpose was to save me from going to the shops. And then it was True. really handy during lockdown to have it because there was nothing in the shops and so I couldn't buy anything. Yeah, and so yeah. I was like, sweet, I'm still I think it's really stuff. convenient if you're like really busy or you're single yeah. living alone in a big city or something. Like, I don't know. Exactly. It can be really convenient. It is. Yeah, it, well, it, it was, but then when I kept getting continually rotten stuff, I was like, it's oh. this point. It, wasn't, oh. it was just that you found that the meals were only just enough. Yeah. So you never had okay. leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you'd be hungry after yeah. dinner yeah. as well. So yeah. I was like, you know what? No, good. I couldn't do that. Not personally. I still make some of their recipes, but I just do it myself. And there you go. Yeah, double some of the ingredients. Double. <laughs> <laughs> I double every recipe. <laughs> well, the amount of meat they like, like if they give you mince, it was so small. I was like, that's not going to feed us. I'll buy We're it. Australians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, eat no. a lot. we all like to eat. Uh, yeah, that's what well, both Shreen and I, when we, we cook, there's always at least one a separate meal again. Left yeah. over for the next day. I love leftovers too. Yeah. They're Something. better than the actual meal sometimes. Yeah, this is, um, what was it? Chili white chicken? Was white it? chicken chili. Oh, oh I love chili. white chicken chili. Oh my gosh. And Beck got me onto this recipe. It was really nice. So yeah. when she my wife had the COVID, recipe in the... um, because I banned her out of the house, she had to live in the bedroom, <laughs> which meant I had of to course. cook. So I cooked and she loved it. I did it the other night again. And oh. Yeah, it was just, we I should just made double the amount. And it just made it easy. It, yeah. There was another meal sitting there whenever. Yeah, exactly. Wanted. And it was. It's always better a couple of days later. That's what too. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. The and flavors, you, like uh, they all like, of... yeah, they all sink into the meat. It's mm -hmm. oh, it's so good. Well, something like brisket. You and I agree that uh, the day or two later after mm. brisket, cutting it really thin mm. and putting it into tortillas is amazing. Ooh, it sounds delicious. Brisket tacos. Oh, I've never had brisket tacos. It sounds. I so think good. Peter made them up. I don't know. Yeah, well, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, maybe I've never heard of that. It's so good. yeah, the, yeah. Because I do. They get that nice crunchiness. Of, yeah. Can we, all, can we all have a cooking day one day and just all cook and just like see who I'm makes cooking. the best meal? Yeah. <laughs> just for Let's fun. Do it. 
<laughs> I love cooking. I have to. It's my fun. brisket takes twelve hours, so I'll have to do it on the weekend. Do you guys like um, hot sandwiches? Hot sandwiches. Yeah. What's a hot sandwich? Like a like, toasted sandwich? like almost like a panini, but different kind of bread, like ciabatta bread, but with like salami, pepperoni, cheese, and like whatever toppings you like, and then you put it on the or in the oven or on the stove. Like toasty kind of. Kind of like a toasty. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll make no. you guys one this week. I'm gonna make you guys one. It's super right. good. Delicious. Do you guys like sandwiches? I, don't know I if, do like sandwiches. Yeah. I do know that Sam, the cooking guy, does a lot of hot sandwichy type okay. stuff. Okay. I love hot sandwiches. Let's do it. Mm. Yeah, and here we are talking about food again. I know. <laughs> Our favorite subject. <laughs> Which is a great topic. We make everyone hungry. Don't never get old. <laughs> no, we. Food's good. We make everyone so hungry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. We like. You're already to hungry now. Yeah, a little bit. Literally. No, I'm we, actually We introduced not. Uh, um, Bella to Australian pie. Oh yeah, so, that meat pie. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That was it's our delicious. first meal here. Yeah. Yep. A plus. So I think um, I don't, we haven't worked out tomorrow, but mm -hmm. if it is. Morning at the studio, we might have to do a Vegemite toast Ooh, yeah. for her. A veggie what toast? And, Vegemite. And, okay. and film it. Okay, please. <laughs> please. I would love that so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I had Vegemite toast today. I should have made Bella one. You should have. I should have. No, you're fine. I I'll give you some tomorrow. Yeah, please. You can try yeah. And we'll do it the proper way because okay. I hate it when. People oh. give Americans like a spoonful of Vegemite it because that's not, not, not how, how anyone eats it. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Vegemite, like what is yeah. it? It's a spread. You put it on toast. Okay. With butter. You can put it in a sandwich. It's just a spread. I love toast anyway, so I'm sure I'll love it. Well, the spread's so. pitch black. Okay. <laughs> like tar. Uh, huh. huh. Interesting. <laughs> and you don't smell it before you eat don't it. Smell otherwise, it. you would never eat it. Oh, God. Don't tell me that. All I, right. Because I, I gave one. But of don't things taste the way they, like how they smell usually? Not this one does. Okay. Well, it doesn't to us because we grew up with it. Huh. Yeah. See, I gave one of my friends a spoonful of Vegemite, which was a, a stupid I which was a stupid idea. <laughs> when was the last time you had a spoon yeah, of Vegemite? That's what I mean. <laughs> but now he's completely turned off it and won't try it properly, and I'm like, well. Oh. Sounds like something you would do. <laughs> <laughs> you had one we'll bad snail, and you'll never eat another one. Yeah, snails are gross. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, have you guys tried snails? I love yes. snails. I can't get myself to try them. Um, I do. Do, I just... do you like mussels? No, I, just, I don't like mussels. Oh. But I also just recently started eating seafood. I didn't start eating seafood until I moved to LA, because the seafood's just better there. Oh, yeah, the, it, like the, the water's water. colder, so it's more fresh. It tastes it tastes more fresh. Yeah. Um, but no, I've actually never tried oysters, and I grew up going to oyster roasts. But I never actually ate the oysters. Yeah, I'm oyster. from the south, and they always do like these big ass oyster roasts. But no, well, I just like it's like oyster a loogie. Ro oyster roasts, yeah, is, <laughs> they're cooked. Yeah, they're cooked. Yeah, well, they're the easy way to eat oysters. Okay, well, I, I have yet to try either one, raw or cooked. I'm just like, it freaks me out. When I was about 10, we were going to Christmas holidays with parents. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> You'll just get, they'll just rip you apart from mine. But you won't see it's it fine. anyway, so you don't care. Um, um, I am definitely going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we went to a place and they'd had massive storm and winds, and there's a lake out the back of the caravan park, which was tidal. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of oyster leases, not in there, in a couple of lakes further around, but because of the big storm, uh -huh. they'd been broken off leases and they floated out in the ocean and came back. Where back is this? Which, this is half, halfway between Melbourne okay. and Sydney. And we're staying there. And Dad said, there's all these oyster racks just floating oh. and they're broken at Ray. So he said, go out with a bucket because the whole lake was only like this deep at the deepest point for oh, wow. a 10-year-old kid, okay. kid. Oh, wow. Okay. Right, so I went round and filled up, got three buckets worth, and oh, mum and dad awesome. were wrapped. So they're yeah, opening it, and I'm all excited, and they said, here you are, and gave me one, I put it in my mouth, and, oh, that's like salty snot. <laughs> oh, see, it's like a loogie, I can't. Yeah. Is that that's what you gross. call it, a loogie? A loogie, yes, it's right. like when you like, cough no, up a but on there, I just spent five hours in the sun picking, getting oh, all of these. I knew it was gross. After the first dozen, I actually started to get a taste from them, now I just oh. I love them. Huh, I can't. Have you tried them before? Yeah. yeah. Are there, I've been tempted to try them again because I haven't tried one in a while. And so maybe my taste buds yeah. too. But for me, it's a texture thing. Me too. <laughs> See, me too. Yeah. It's like, not, like, I'm sure it tastes good, but like it's so slimy. I'm like, mm. Like, I like mussels. I really like mussels. Like, cooked mussels, I like. Yeah, but to your cooked oysters, it's going to be, if you like cooked mussels. Yeah, muscle, I think I like, like Kilpatrick. You'll, you'll like Kilpatrick. Yeah, I just don't think I'd like the natural because it's a texture thing. And like, I don't like the texture of mushrooms. <laughs> I'm, I'm allergic to mushrooms, sadly, because I know they're so good. Really? What, I all them. mushrooms? And like in certain dishes, they're good. Like not by, not by themselves, but I get sick every time I eat them anyway. Yeah, no, sadly. that's a certain type of mushroom that does that. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, it's every kind of mushroom I've I was ever eaten. About the psychedelics. <laughs> oh, oh, those? Yeah, fabulous. 
I don't get sick. That's enough. the only one I don't get sick on. No, but literally, no, Every, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> only ones I ate. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Sorry, blonde moment. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I just can't do it with them. They're gross. Yeah. yeah it's funny. Oh, my ki- my kids didn't like mushrooms when they were young, but that's because they thought we poisoned. <laughs> Well, we were out camping and the bush and it was right that time they had, we'd get the big dinner yeah, plate sized yeah, mushrooms yeah, yeah. and we picked some and we had it for tea and the two of them were sick the next day but my wife and mm. I weren't sick so. Mm. Weird. You totally did poison them, didn't you? Yeah, we just gave them a different one. Mm-hmm. They had different mm-hmm. toys. We just gave them the one that was bright red on top with the dots. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. They still lived. Oh my gosh. No, they were sick because they got car sick. Oh, right. Driving back up and over the hill, they oh. got car sick. But they like mushrooms now? Yeah, I think they both eat them now. Mm, crazy. I don't. But yeah, but you, sorry. This is a person that don't like asparagus. And I then find asparagus. out. asparagus. Oh, I've never tried it. Oh. And then she tried it. And it's, I do that sometimes too. Oh, I like this. It's actually yeah. nice. It's actually nice. Well, capsicum I didn't like, like at all. I had tried it. I did not like it. And now I like roasted red capsicum. I don't what, like. Red, the, red what? Caps, uh, peppers. Cap, peppers. Okay. 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 <laughs> Translation. <laughs> I love red peppers. peppers. <laughs> I'm learning the lingo still, yeah. honestly. Yeah, I find, why do we call it capsicum? Capsicles? Why, why do we call um, <laughs> coriander coriander? When What's the coriander? Rest of the world calls it cilantro. Cilantro. Oh. cilantro. I love cilantro. Yeah. We call it coriander. Coriander? <laughs> Cori- Cori- coriander. <laughs> Coriander. Huh? Coriander. Uh, coriander. <laughs> no, we don't have the dr because we are. It's, it's, <laughs> dr. Oh my god. Oh you're sitting god. next to an American, so you're putting on your fake American accent like you I'll did when we were I'll talk to a certain accent for the rest of this podcast now. Don't even. Oh, don't do that. She'll start. <laughs> Please do. Oh, no laugh. <laughs> no, no. no way. Oh my god. I'm not awesome. too good at accents. <laughs> It's the only one I'm good at. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to embarrass myself. Oh, I would love it. She'll do it later. Maybe. I'll give me a few more wines. I might mm-hmm. try. Mm-hmm. You might try. I might try now. I've got to drive. Wine always says that to everybody. It does. You get some slime southern accent. <laughs> <laughs> but you're from the South, yeah, aren't from the you? South. Yeah. 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 From South Carolina. So yeah. did you find your accent changed when you moved? Well, LA? see, I... Growing up, I always hated the slurred accent. I was just like that kid that was like, I'm definitely not going to have that. So I just like taught myself to just have a regular accent. A regular? But it, What's a regular okay, accent? Okay, a regular accent is just, just like this in, instead of this. Uh, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, aren't you laughing? So not regular, but just like, it's not Southern, not I guess. Southern. So when I moved to LA, that's when I started like, I'm like, you know what? I should embrace that. And I, I would just like randomly in a conversation while I'm out just start talking this learn accent and they were like and people would be like what the fuck like that's awesome and I'm like I kind of like this now I'm gonna embrace it so now I just do it all the time and I'm really good at it so I'm just whatever do your parents you have southern accents? no no. <laughs> no they could but no they don't so is there a New York accent? yeah what? what? I'm walking you <laughs> <laughs> oh so that's a New York accent isn't yeah. it? Right. New York New York get a coffee but there's so coffee. many people there's so many people there from all over so yeah. I suppose you got to get just out of town or get away from me. Yeah, so I feel like that's, that's my more like a Staten Island accent, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. I don't know. People will correct me. I'll never wrong. forget. I think her name was Andy on first series of Next Top Model. She had the Detroit accent or something or... It was huh. really, really strong. Huh. And everyone picked her straight. As soon as she opened her mouth, she goes, you're from... Uh-huh. I didn't know no. Detroit had an accent. Oh, it's on Chicago. It wasn't Chicago. I was pretty sure it was Detroit. Hmm. A really strong accent. Like, yeah. super strong. Interesting. But we have... So I love tr- strong accents, though. Through oh. Australia, we get, you go up north and they it's... definitely got a, a strong accent mm. once you get to Darwin and places oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, really you know, strong. accents I love is just random at Liverpool, England. Yes, yeah, so they have a very distinct accent. Very, yeah, you can always tell. Yeah. Always tell. There's a girl on TikTok and she's from Massachusetts and she has a very distinct accent oh. from up there. It's very cute. Oh, I love it. Cute. It's really cute. Oh, they are so cute. <laughs> Accents are funnies. They are funny. We were trying to pick up what the lady in the bakery's accent was. I know. I think today. She might have oh, today? Irish. Yeah. I, I yeah. sort of picked up a bit on Irish. Yeah, me too. But that was only because I was listening to, my wife was watching the movie uh, Belfast last night. Uh-huh. So there's a lot of Irish accents oh, okay. in that. It sounded yeah, very yeah, similar yeah. to that. One of my good friends, she's live. She's from England, but she's lived here since she was twelve, I think. Mm-hmm. So, she's 
but she's still got a little bit of a British accent, but for the, like it's kind of half and half. But at first I didn't realise, but now I don't know. The more I hung out with her, I noticed like she'll still say glass instead glass, of, yeah. <laughs> or she'll be like, I'm gonna go ask. And, <laughs> but then she'll talk like Aussie, but then she's like, Oh, can I have a glass, please? <laughs> it's really cute. It's hard for me to tell the difference sometimes between Australian and English. We are really similar. Yeah. It's um, like you have, you have like a twang though. Australians yeah. have like a twang to English accent. Some people mix us up with South African sometimes. Really, I would think. Oh. People, yeah, New because Zealand they and... both have a twang, and then there's yeah. New Zealand. So. I think okay. New Zealand and South Africa is probably more similar than us. Yeah, hmm. I just heard a few times people have sort of said South Africa. Hmm. Interesting. Good. Hmm. But, yeah. Very interesting. Whereas my um, step, uh, my father-in-law. He was Scottish through and through. Oh, and nobody could awesome. understand a <laughs> word he said. Uh, nobody was... could ever understand a word he said. I love a Scottish accent. I pre- struggle with one. Full, accent. strong <laughs> Scottish yeah. accents are pretty full on. It took yeah. me a while to actually understand yeah. how he just you... said hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Yeah. They are pretty hard to understand for some mm-hmm. reason, though. Yeah, but well, all their words just like combine into one. No, no, because that's exactly what we started off talking about. It's so good that there is so many differences, it's not just a cookie cutter accent uh-huh. everyone walks around with. Yeah, sure. Although people oh, yeah. do try, like there's a few <coughs> people I know that are full on, well, they're not born in America and they certainly have full on American accents oh. and talk a little bit like Marilyn Monroe. And <laughs> there's, there's certain people that try and they just say, oh, I don't know what happened. It just, And I know there is a disease that you can just wake up in the morning and have an accent and be able to speak another language. What? Really? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a real thing. It's what? not, uh, you How? can Google it, except Google. You wake up like in a parallel you universe? To, no, you, you, there's people that something has happened and they've woken up the next day and they have an accent or they're speaking a language okay. they never learnt. Straight up, this might be reaching, but I feel like that's just like waking up in another parallel universe. <laughs> I feel like that happens all the time anyway and people have no idea. Like, have you ever, like, woken up and, like, your doorknob was on the other side of the door? I've had shit like that happen to me all the time growing up. Like, I always had, like, random things change. So when you went to bed, the doorknob was here, and when you woke up, it was there? Well, not that for me. I'm just, like, for an example. Like, I've had, I've heard stories of people, like, waking up and, like, they're like, my doorknob was not on this side. It's so common, though, because, like, there are so many, like, different universes happening right now. Because time is not linear. So is this the underside world? The upside down. Upside down world. Yeah. It's not as black. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh my god who fucking knows really I don't know I do, I do think I think something strange is happening on the world at the moment like mm. what just I don't know there just seems to be with the UFOs <laughs> well, there's not of- without not saying UFOs just even my daughter said there was something out the back of their house and it hasn't just been there once, but she can't see it, but she can see it, feel it. Huh. It's not like feel it here, it's, yeah. it's there. Huh. Like an entity or just like a shift in the universe? No, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's like a spiritual thing. I think it's more like an invisible soul watching. Huh. It's not like, yeah. It's, There's always somebody watching. Oh, of course there is. There's multiple beings always watching, obviously. Well, it's pretty amazing. But it's like protectors, though. It's like you always have people or things spirit, God, whatever you call it, watching spirit you, protecting guidance. you. You always have protectors, for sure. That's yeah, well, right. I'm a strong believer in karma, so. Yeah, and oh my I God, karma so, yeah. I yeah. think your parallel worlds might come into that, whereas if you are give out good enough karma, you yeah. change worlds without knowing it. Yeah, whatever energy you put out, you definitely receive back, yes. always, which it's is awesome. It's very deep. It is. If, we, um, do it, if I do this and make a noise, I don't have something. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's something. it called? Oh, a sound, oh. sound healing? Sound healing? Yeah, sound, yeah. We need a sound bowl. We need Tanya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the models that Peter shoots, she, that's, she's all into that stuff. Oh, it's awesome. I finally shot it for the first time, what, nine months or yeah, something. Was... Something kept coming up. and it's, She doesn't professionally model anymore, and mm. I'm not shooting her to sell the pictures or make any money. We yeah. just really like hanging. I yeah. really enjoy photographing her. Yeah. And I don't know, it could just be me, but I think it's her little escape going back to her old, and she mm. enjoys being photographed, yeah. but she, I don't think, she, I don't, she never enjoyed being a professional model. Uh-huh. I get and that. this is, this is actually a really good question to ask you. It's, and this is a little bit taking off from my rant, is I take photos for me. Yeah, yeah. And. As I said in my rant, if I'm doing commercial shoots, it's very, very rare I'll ever look at that picture again. Right, 
Right. Once it's been signed over yeah. and handed to a client, it's, it's not very yours. rare I would ever look at yeah. it. Yeah. Whereas there's a picture that mm, everyone else looks, mm, it's a piece of crap, but there's something in that picture that means a lot to me. Yeah. So as a photographer, I'm doing something to create something for me. So how, yeah. where do you get your fun as a model? Because there's always someone else playing well, that yeah. part. Is it if they capture well, some moment which you love? Yeah. Or, or? I mean, for me personally, I mean, I a lot of the shoots I do are shoots that I want to do. Like I, I go for brands or photographers that I want to work with that I know I like the photos with. With jobs, of course, like if you're with an agency and they book you jobs, of course you have to do some of the jobs if you want paid work. But also, like you have a lot of freedom with modeling. Like you can do shoots, whatever shoots you want to do. And there's so many outlets with modeling too. Like you can get creative with it, create your own mood boards and stuff. But it just depends. How, so how's the scene in LA? Is there? It's not just all e-commerce now, which is the. Pay I mean, it's, it's definitely mostly e-commerce, but there's so many good photographers there though that you can just work with freely without oh, so that's just, just to a, build your own portfolio. Just a, yeah, but that's for you and nobody else, right, because right, you're right. not actually showing anyone on that folio right. because well, nobody's booking you to do that work anyway because that work. Well, doesn't actually, exist. a lot of the work I have done myself, I've gotten booked from that work. <sighs> Get out of here. Well, see, that's that's where I. Uh, especially in Australia, it's not working like that much anymore, but. Huh. Before, when I was very busy with commercials, mainly uh -huh. people seeing what, because I never post my commercial work, yeah. I only saw my work. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I don't ever post my commercial work either, really. Um, but I do, recently I've been doing a lot of shoots that like, I just want to do, that like, people reach out to me and they're like, let's create something that we want to do. And it always turns out great. And I put it in my book and then people are like, they see that like there's soul in that picture, like there's something in that picture, and they book me from that. And do you That's ever look at a picture and just can't believe it's you. And... Yeah, no, yes, all the time. That's why I love shooting. So I'm like, how? I'm like, yeah. how is that? And is it a story in every photo? Yeah. If, you, if you want it to be, you know. If you want a story, you can make a story in a photo. See, I think what the modeling world's losing that. I don't think. I, I agree. I think with your TikToks and your. No, totally. It's social media. It's social taking media. Over. It, everyone's happy with this and a bit of face tune. I know. And no, seriously. they're happy seeing something, oh, that doesn't look like me. Because yeah. you just tuned it That's to not look I, like you. As I hate Facetune. I hate, like, I mean, I, I respect it, whoever uses it. But personally, I just, like, why edit your photos? And people are going to see you in person. It's just, like, you might. I would rather look better in person than in a photo. Like yeah, a selfie. I, I don't know. It gets hard. I, I was, I'm not big for plastic surgery. I'm not big yeah. for over face tuning. Yeah. But then I listened to somebody talk on a, one of those chat shows or something. Mm -hmm. And sort of the face tuners for the people who don't have the money to go out and get the plastic surgery. Okay. And the people doing the plastic surgery is I because mean, their own. this is how I want the world to see me. I don't want them to seem like this. I want this change and this okay. change because that's who I yeah. am. Yeah, yeah. And I, do, I don't yeah. identify with what I see in the mirror. I'd much rather a stronger jaw or a weaker jaw. Or yeah. Well, also, like, there's that. And I, I respect people wanting to edit their photos. Like, no disrespect. That's just... Oh, yeah, person. no, no, I'm but, the same. No, but, no, I know, I know. That, yeah, I'm agreeing with you. But also, like... It's social media is doing that to people though. They're creating yeah. this unrealistic beauty well, standard and it's just like, I want to look that way, but also like natural beauty is so, it's just So everything. much better. I know, it's everything. The yeah. thing with Instagram, it all seems to be this one cookie cutter look of like yeah. what's conventional. Oh, yeah. It's whatever's a cookie cutter yeah. look at Sharp the Sharp jaw, high yeah. eyes, light eyes, big lips. It's yeah. just like, it's can you just... It's this same look and yeah. that's what everyone face tunes themselves to look like yeah. is this one same Instagram right. look right. and it's right. a definite. And also like trends change and like, it's just like, oh, it's just ridiculous. But I'm also seeing, and I could be 100% wrong, I think I'm seeing, I know that when I've done some work in um, China, mm -hmm. especially, every photographer wants to know, how do you get rid of the round face? I said, what do you mean? He said, well, the girls don't want to have this round face. And I said, but that's who they look like. Right. And then mm -hmm. I look at some of the trend of what's happening now, the face tuning, it seems like it's the face tuning of Asian people. Now oh. the Westerners have started to take that on themselves mm. where they don't need to, they don't have that, but they're taking yeah. it to another level. Mm. It's not only taking it to alien face. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've noticed a lot these jaws that are just not 
Way too not. Yeah. Way too true. not. Yeah. Right. I've also seen like that's the thing with like cultures and like races. Like everyone has like their own feature, like and, yeah. which I love. And I've seen a lot of girls recently, like Bella Hadid. You know, she got a nose job, but she used to have like a, a bumper. She was like, I really regret getting a nose job because like mm. that's part of my culture is having that nose, and it's beautiful. And she's like, I really is she Middle Eastern or uh, I'm not Italian sure exactly. or yeah. Yeah. Middle yeah. East? Yeah, so yeah, Palestinian and okay. Okay. yeah, which is that. That's yeah. part of the, yeah. the, the look. And so many girls are like, I regret getting a nose job now. Like, my nose is still beautiful. It's cute and tiny, but, like, I, you know, I wish I could represent I my understand, culture. I can understand if someone gets their nose broken or something well, yeah. and things yeah, like yeah. that. I would be totally. they've got a distinct bump in there, yeah, which yeah, is... Yeah. I can understand that a bit, but just when they go, oh, I just want a little bit finer in the yeah. tip and I'm like, things like that, mm -hmm. I, it, like, nobody's even seen that. Right. That's a yeah. you, also, you amplify. It's like you looking at yourself with a magnifying glass. Yeah, bus. right, right. Well, you're you're, you're you're always your own worst self critic, oh like yeah. everyone. So you but always like you know. There's certain little things I understand, yeah. and Beck's not going to hate me, but Beck has a li had a little line in her nose. Yeah, and a it was something that I would always Photoshop yeah. out, just as in dodging the burning. Yeah, but then it. it was just as I easy. Say, that actually means something spiritually, because I have it too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like the uh, mark of the angel or something. So I'm you were like something else in their past life. I'm an angel. No, you're That's not. You had it taken out. Well, I did have it, but no, I filled it in. No, you've right lost there. your bum hole and you're gone. <laughs> I got a little bit of filler in it, and it yeah. hasn't come back yet, which is good. Well, it there saves me photoshopping. Yeah. It's great. It's just <laughs> we just get need to get one other thing finished. What? You're half empty. Oh, yeah, I need to get finished removing oh, yeah. it. That's right. It because takes so many I sessions didn't, to remove I tattoos. Didn't, I didn't have to re remove it before. Now I have to <laughs> remove it because it's half baked. That's oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. right. Go away, B. It's not a bee. It is a bee. It's a blowfly. It's yellow. It's a blowfly. Hello, it's, a bee. it's yellow. <laughs> it's a blowfly. It's been it's rolling in yellow poo. Yeah, <laughs> We're in a dog park. They're all clean in They won't get you. I'm, just, I'm glad that Bella Hadid's finally admitting she had a nose job because for years yeah. she was saying she didn't and yeah. it's no different to the Kardashians who sit there and say that they haven't had work done. It's just uh -huh. sending the wrong message to young exactly, girls. Exactly, exactly. Thinking that it's, is natural. But that, right. makes it, that actually means they're not proud in what they've done. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. If I'm going to They're do, well, invalidating everyone also. Beck has exactly. always said, I'm and I'm and I'm happy with it. Yeah. And anybody asked Bang, whereas I I had a business partner quite a few years ago in a modeling agency. Well, I was a silent partner. I just needed mm -hmm. an agency to represent um, alternative people. Mm -hmm. Because I had a lot of clients <laughs> looking for those alternative people. Yeah. And she kept on saying how she was blessed to have her breasts. Oh. I, yeah, I was blessed with these. Well, I found out later on she was blessed that she had a mother who paid for them. <laughs> and that's, I uh, never yeah. realised yeah. yeah. that. And it was sort of like, you've just put all these girls down. Right, right. Yeah. Like I said, it's so invalidating. Yeah. Okay. It's just like, why? Just accept it just and be, be proud of it. it. Yeah, do it and be proud of it. Yeah. Or don't do it. Right, and also exactly. I want to know who their surgeons are because they've done a great job. <laughs> true, true, true. No, I hate people who gatekeep things. I'm like, true. you, like, it's karma. Like, yeah, it's my surgeon. Yeah, I can't mine. dare let like, them get busy because up. I won't be able to get in. Yeah, like, yeah. People are like, oh, where did you get that dress from? Oh, well, like, I well, can't that, tell you. It's like, that's no, just it's more, though. nobody else wants, these are my boobs looking like this. You're not allowed to have boobs so looking weird. this good. Insecure. Yeah. It is, it is insecure. It's so insecure. It's so I see this with a lot of, even with a lot of the, um, YouTubers, they will give up away this much information. Uh -huh. They have this little bit of a secret. There's one photographer, I'm not mentioning his or her name, <laughs> but very early on I was watching some YouTube to try and find out a certain style of lighting. I find this, and, and they only had cameras showing half the set, so you couldn't oh, see the lighting God. on the other half, yeah, and that was yeah. important. Yeah, of course. You know what, my, my mum, does this some, she doesn't do it to everyone, but she does it to some people. She's done it a few times. Someone will ask for a recipe and she'll give them like pretty much everything, but she'll leave out like one ingredient. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh she would. Karma to her. One day <laughs> she's going to accidentally mix up the recipe she gives everyone else in, in the book True. and she'll make it with the missing that one <laughs> item, which is the most important. <laughs> Just leave it. Oh, one why? Little. My because th isn't it better that mm. so they're having a meal and they go, this is amazing. Go, yeah, Beck's mum gave me this recipe. It's incredible. And they go, oh, this is a bit ordinary. Yeah, yeah Beck's mum gave me this recipe. No, I think she did it to my dad after they split up. Oh, well, I understand <laughs> that. I think he so, has valid. I think he has so she his... changed cumin to come. <laughs> <laughs> I think he asked for a like spaghetti bolognese recipe or something, and then he was. I, I don't know he said something about it. I think he. I can't remember what the problem was, but their mum's like, yeah, yeah, I didn't tell him what ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather just not get the recipe than have a half-ass recipe. 
Like, just was, tell me you don't, won't give it to me. It was like everything except one ingredient. And I was like, Mom, you're that's evil. That's a bit different. No, you're that's evil. it's an X. <laughs> My God. Some of the things I've heard about what X's have done. I, oh. I think I think she's done it to like one of her friends or something as well. Not much of a friend. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's I'm a bit funny. I'm going to do it to your mom now. She's a bit funny. Oh, can I have to meet your mom? Because she, can I meet your mom while I'm here? Of course, she oh. wants to meet you oh. as well. I would love that. Have to. She's adorable. She's a doll, Little Gail. I'm sure. Yeah, she's, oh. she's epic. Epic. <laughs> she's epic, that woman. She's like me, but like in her 60s. Oh, and queen. Yeah. You can only imagine. Yeah, she, yeah, she's just hilarious. But some of the things that she comes up with, some of the sayings she comes up with. She's the best person. She only has to see you for three or four minutes and she'll come up with the best nickname for you. Oh, I love that. So she, we're, we've got a, a chain store in Australia called Harvey Norman. Uh -huh. And Harvey Norman were the first one to give you like three, int uh, three years interest free. So she called one of the workers at her work, Harvey Norman. <laughs> three <laughs> years no interest. <laughs> three years no interest. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so she was the best of coming She's up so with these funny. classic. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So she just called her Harvey Norman. And my favorite one ever was too short for a white coat. <laughs> Why? That's like the most horrible thing in the world, but it is oh, also God. so funny. That is so fucking funny. Oh, That's God. good. Yeah, That's she's, good. She's hilarious. Like gem. She is awesome. Yeah. I love her to pieces. She doesn't drink wine anymore, though, she, but she loves her vodka lime soda. Oh, queen. Just feel that. That's right, because it's completely invisible, so it's not drinking. <laughs> No, it's not like it water. Count. See, it's water. Well, vodka has no calories anyway, <laughs> yeah. so it's fine. I don't like. Vodka got no calories. Vodka yeah. lime soda doesn't have calories. Yeah, that's why, like, yeah, that's it's why like, skinny bitch. Yeah. Or like a vodka soda. So mm. can I get a vodka that tastes like whiskey? Mm, maybe. Because <laughs> so I think whiskey's a pretty. Oh, high. It, uh, that reminds me. Have you guys seen the um, videos on Twitter of the people putting alcohol in Britas, and it tastes nothing like alcohol, so you just get drunk as shit. It tastes not, it, like I put vodka or tequila mm. in my like Brita, the, and the, it, water it, filter? the filter, yeah, the like, like water the filter oh, Brita. If you put it, the uh, yeah, tequila or vodka in the Brita, it tastes nothing like alcohol. It's so it's so you just get so drunk because it doesn't taste like anything. So does the filter? So like... it's the opposite to what I've done to my mum. <laughs> yeah, what we've, do you mean? We've swapped her to zero alcohol. She hasn't realised. <laughs> Seriously, she was drinking. Realize? She was because she's eighty-five. And oh, I think she's getting a bit bored in the eight, in nights on her own. She's just sitting there and finishing a bottle on her own. She's really frail, really small, uh -huh. and well, then like, she like, just ring up angry, uh -huh. and then wake up in the morning with a sore back. Oh. So my sister and I have been slowly weaning her off alcohol. So like, and what kind of alcohol does she usually drink? Wine. 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 So you just give her non-alcoholic wine. Yeah, but it's okay. It's more expensive. Hmm. The wine she was buying was like. Six Australian dollars a bottle, so you're not drinking this for flavour. Okay. Are you? No. Okay. No. Okay. So what's that? Um, the the, the non-alcoholic uh, uh, would be like equivalent to like two dollars. Four dollars. No, yeah, four dollars maybe. Okay. Damn. So, Shit. Yeah. So, Damn. Well, I get like six dollar wine sometimes. So It'd be the, like that. the non-alcoholic wines like fourteen and fifteen dollars mm -hmm. a bottle. Because, and I said to my sister, "Why is it? Oh, because they make real wine, then take the alcohol out." What? Wow. That's how. That's I how it works. That's how. With all non alcoholic wine? Apparently. No, well, this is this particular okay, brand. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Huh. So, yeah, and even. Damn. <laughs> but then, she that good, then good. Beck. Beck got non alcoholic. Um, the other day, one of her friends brought around a non alcoholic martini. Uh, espresso. Espresso martini. martini so oh she poured God. alcohol in it. <laughs> that would be gross. As you should. A non alcoholic espresso martini is just coffee. Yeah, like, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, just a can literally. of coffee. Yeah. So I poured vodka in it. And, nice. But they weren't very nice. And I saw Tahan did a influenza thing for those ones and she's talking about how good well, they are. Well, she's pregnant. Of course she's not going to... She can't drink alcohol. No, I know, but she was doing something. No, but then she got someone else to try it for her to see if they tasted as good as alcoholic ones and they said yes they did and I was like ah no yeah, it's didn't. called influenza <laughs> that's why they're, they're influenza it's a disease true, true. and you know that's her living and if you are, say to her straight she goes yeah that's what I do for a living <laughs> no different to doing ad <laughs> everybody you should use this shampoo it's beautiful I've never used it in my life oh my god right so it's no different to it's all the stars when they true. promote mm. stuff that I yeah. guess yeah. Anyway, I didn't like it, <laughs> personally, even with alcohol in it. Well, it's something everyone will, I can guarantee, Beck and I will never do. What? We can't lie about something that's crap. No. <laughs> and I get, like that, though. We get sent... I just can't lie get, in general. We I'm get lots liar. of people offer to send us stuff, and 
nine times out of ten will just look at... No, like what? Is, like Cindy what? Oh, oh like camera gear. Camera gear, like oh, lights okay, and okay, stuff. Okay. First like, to like, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just okay. look at it and I'll just go, no. I would never use that. No. No, just say no. That's good though. You should be honest. But then every now and then we'll say, look, if you send it out to me and I don't like it, we're just going to send it back to you. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to do a video and video say, this is so great, yeah, you should use yeah. this and stuff. We yeah. just send it back. But we're not going to do an, a negative well, video works. on them. Exactly. Yeah. Because I don't like talking anything down. And some yeah. somebody might, it might suit their look. Right, so, somebody else might like it. Hmm. Yeah, it's, I... I like that. Thumbs up. Um... It wasn't yeah. as loud as wasn't as, it's, We're out in the bush. <laughs> in the bush. So, uh, sorry, so we've educated you what the bush is. Can yes. you explain to Americans what the bush is? <laughs> um, trees, big trees, grass, um, greenery. <laughs> Animals? It's out in the bush. The bush, yeah. Have you The seen, country. <laughs> so you've been in Australia for how long? Um, approximately like six hours. I don't know. <laughs> and you haven't been killed yet, have you? Not, not yet. A shark hasn't eaten you. You haven't nope. had a spider attack. I haven't seen any kangaroos yet. You haven't yet. seen kangaroos. <coughs> no. you haven't, a drop no. bear hasn't dropped on you? <laughs> no, nope. Have you heard about drop bears? No. Should I? Oh, I would have thought someone would have told you about that. No, are they around here? Drop bears are everywhere in Australia. Oh my God. Should I be worried? Should you be worried? Very worried. Yeah. All right, get my eye out. <laughs> <laughs> so one, one thing, like I think we were in the car for like twenty minutes. I said to Bella, I was like, "So I think you'll notice by now that we don't have kangaroos that hop down the road." <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> contrary to pop. not right in the city, but you don't you only have to get as far as your mum's house or our PR. Actually, I have seen one hopping down Fitzsimmons Lane in Templestone. Yeah, no, I've seen I would plenty do of anything to see kangaroo come up to me right now. We'll see them. Um, we'll if see we them. hung around here for another couple of hours, you'll see them out here. Are you serious? Yeah. Stop. They're, wall they're wallabies. They're not the big ones. Who I, don't care. About this height. I don't care how big they are. I'll, like, I'll come out here later and sit and wait. You'll sit and wait. No, seriously. Or if if you, I'm missing later, I'm here. If you come out, you need a pumpkin. I'm actually going to drop a pin here. What's this called? You need a pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin. You need a slice of pumpkin. I love pumpkin. Slice of pumpkin? Yeah. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Okay. Punkin. I'm lying. Punkin. <laughs> I just want to get a photo of you sitting out in the field <laughs> with, with a pumpkin, pumpkin <laughs> waiting for it. <laughs> Punkins oh, aren't yeah. sort of native to Australia, I don't think. I love that you say punkin. Punkin. Well, how do you say it? Pumpkin. With an M. That's no, I like, I like punkin. Punkin. <laughs> with yeah. an N. Pump. Yeah, I'm pump. dyslexic. That's how I spell it. <laughs> That's I awesome, don't put Peter. an M, I put two N's. It looks the same from a pumpkin. distance. Pumpkin. 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 Give me a pumpkin. Pum. Pum no pumpkin. Say say it though, pumpkin. Pumpkin. There you go. That sounds weird. <laughs> it sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes better than sound. Oh my goodness. True. You idiots. Oh. Um anyway, anyway. we're uh, mm -hmm. looking forward to a really fun couple of weeks. I know. I'm so it's gonna excited. Really it's gonna be cool. epic. We're gonna create some awesome, awesome Amazing stuff. Amazing photos, content, and, content yeah. everything, all the things. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you'll most likely hear about all the disasters next week. Yeah, most, yeah <laughs> definitely. Disasters. Most definitely. <laughs> All right, yeah. well, we'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Have a good weekend. Bye. Adios. Eh, eh. Oh, we need to do a photo. So it's like pause and then oh, yeah. Peter will grab the. Oh, we should do a selfie. True. So should pretend we? you're doing a selfie. Yeah, what do you okay. mean? Well, how do you do a selfie? Should I just pretend like this right now? Oh, we could do that. We'll do a phone selfie. Hey, there's a good one. Aren't we glad we got someone with some better ideas than us? <laughs> I'm actually taking them. <laughs> I'm actually not. <laughs>